morning peoples today is the last day in Chiang Mai we've got to go to the bus station I'm not talking to you Bernard that's why got to go down to the bus station book a ticket to Chiang Rai it's meant to take about three hours and I think it's about 150 baht ish per person I think so I it's going to be a long last day. We've got three hours on the bus. Yeah. So we're just in our... Tic Tac. Tic Tac? That's a tuk -tuk. <laughs> It's like a, a little scooter with... A roof. A roof. And a back it's a seat. tricycle. Yeah, basically it's a tricycle. It cost us 150 baht to go to the bus station, which is about 8 kilometers away. I haven't done it today. So, so nice. We are on our coach, um, heading to Chiang Rai. Um, they go every hour, so you have to book on to specific times. We actually got here at about 9 o'clock, but the half 9 bus was um, fully booked, so we're on the half 10 bus. And you have the like, assigned seats, there's loads of leg room, and we paid 322 baht for the two of us, including our luggage and everything else. And we inquired the tourist information just to compare the price, and they wanted 350 per person for an air-conditioned bus, which is exactly what this is. So we decided to head down to the local bus station, and this coach is literally full of local people. Um, and just pay the 322 between the two of us to get there, three and a half hours, and we should be arriving. And like I said, loads of leg room, so it's actually really comfortable. So, what's a bargain? Just arrived in Chiang Rai. We had a tap tap on the way to the hotel. First impressions. It looks really nice and a lot quieter here. It mean? looks like we expected Chiang Mai to look like. So it looks more like a big town than a massive city. So um, I'm actually looking forward to being here for the next couple of nights to be honest. More so than in Chiang Mai. So far so good. Morning! We are up bright and early. I'm actually ready for Chris because I'm really excited for today. We're going to the White Temple in Chiang Rai and something that I've been looking forward to for months and months and months and months and months. And we drove past it yesterday on our way here and I was like so excited. So we're going to take you there and uh, to Amy, seeing your little comment. Miss you girl. Hurry up and get over here. Wrap him you today. Wrap him you today. Hi. Hi, friend. Yeah. Hi, friend. Oh, and this one. And this one. And this one. Oh, you're so cute. Yes, you are. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, I have pain right now, right, and I've, my nose is running, and I don't know if you could see my goosebumps going down, but if you could feel my hands, my nose, and my ears right now, it is ridiculous, honestly, it's, it's, it's a joke, and also, it wouldn't be a day with Chris if we didn't lose something, tell him what you love. <laughs> my hat blew off <laughs> on the motorway when we was riding, but it's so cold. First thing in the morning, I come outside and I was like, oh my God. Felt like I was back in London. Really, 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 really cold. And then you got to ride down the motorway for about 20 minutes, 25 minutes. Freezing, first thing in the morning. But it was well worth it, because this temple is insane. Oh, it's amazing. Oh, I've looked forward to this place for so long.
one by yourself. And it was 30 baht and you write a message on it and you hang it up with all of these many 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 other ones and I'm not really sure whether you're meant to write your name or the, when you came or a wish or whatever but I'm gonna write just a little something something and hang it up Arsenal winning the league. Yeah. yeah. That's exactly what I wish for. <laughs> I've never seen nothing like it. Like the artwork is just insane. It must have took years and years for them to actually craft it all. Because every single thing you look at, it's just like mad detail on everything and anything. So it is like a, a once in a lifetime thing, I think. I don't think you'll ever see anything quite like, like this. So happy that I came. Happy that I froze to death on the bike to get it. <laughs> Choke you down just like a pill just realised that all them wishes that we made and that were all hanging up over that side, they're all also here. So I presume that they don't throw any any away and that when all them trays over there get filled up, they put them all on the roof, all along the sides, and they just move them on the side still so they don't throw anything away, which is, I think, pretty cool. Exactly why you come here at 8 o'clock on the dock to avoid 
all of that carnage. Comes, comes to Sutton when you're in Thailand getting a hot chocolate because it's cold outside. Happy? Oh, I'm so happy. <laughs> I'm not even joking. This has been one of my favourite days so far of the whole time we've been here. I'm mean, absolutely made up that we arrived at the time that we did. I'm made up that the, the shop opposite does hot chocolates because I've got earache. My hands are freezing and my nose is running. And I'm made up that the person understood not to put any vegetables in my fried rice. <laughs> Perfect morning. And it's not even half nine. This man is called Chalamachai. I won't even try and say his last name because I just can't. I have tried. He is now 62 years old and he's originally from Thailand but he lives in Malaysia now. He's the man who designed the entire White Temple. Um, he had 62 people help him build it, but he was the only person who designed the original thing. Um, he doesn't think that it will be finished until around the year 2017, and by then he won't actually be alive, but he hopes to have nine separate buildings to represent different types of stories to teach people things. So his idea behind the White Temple was to teach people about morality and the hands and bodies that come out of the lake from around the side when you're walking up into the temple itself represent you have to go through hardship and you have to go through temptation and you have to go through evil to be able to reach the good side and um, so that's what they represent look at all the people now all oh, the people <laughs> so many Thank God we came when we did. Note to all of you, get here early. What if I go stronger? What if I get higher? What if I start doing things I know I will regret? I will make my own way. I will not surrender. I will do my best. Until I get put under On our way back to Chiang Rai we've, We took like a different route We decided to um, just find our own way back without using the map So we're going down all these country lanes And then we stumble across this How cool is that? But the only bad thing is, I don't have the drone because we didn't intend on finding this place, so can't send the drone up. <laughs> but it is so nice and peaceful that I just want to have a little look around, explore, and just chill. Got the whole day today, so take you with us wherever we go, see if we can find some more good stuff. <laughs> It was a nice little spot. I'm gonna jump back on the bikes now, or bike, should I say, and see if we can find anything else on our travels back to Chiang Rai. So we get to a market, and all Cody wants to do is look for shoes. What a right. shock! Wait a minute. Let's just go over this situation a second, shall we? Converse gave me a blister on my toe. Can't walk past cake, can I? <laughs> this is me. I love the cake. Got myself some new snakes, didn't I? Let me see, see them. Don't get too excited. Don't be too jealous. What are those? <laughs> Don't hate, okay? I need these. These are all purpose shoes. They allow me to walk around this nice place we just found. We drove on our bike and I sat on the back and was like, left, right, left, right, and it has brought us to this. I think it's called Koh Loi Park. Um, there's a little 
like water feature over there with elephants. It looks really pretty, but I don't think the water feature's turned on. But we also found this little lake. Not bad, eh? Not bad. Just need a few stones so I can skip some stones. And <laughs> We are back in our room now. Uh, today has been a really, really nice day. I've really thoroughly enjoyed today. I think because we didn't really have a plan of what we wanted to do other than go into that temple, it made it really nice to just have the bike. And then I would sit on the back and say, go left, go right, and wherever we ended up, we stayed for a little while, and then we put the map on to get home. So on the way back, we stopped off for something to eat. Nothing really to show you. I had my usual egg fried rice. Chris had some pad thai. It was nice. And then we came back here, gave the bike back, and now we're just going to watch a film because we've got to be up early tomorrow because we are heading to Laos. So... Tomorrow's plan of action is a case of getting up, we're already packed, record timing, I'm getting quicker, and um, get the bus or a taxi or some sort of transportation to the border, then I don't really know what happens from there, Chris does, but I don't, so I just leave it to him. So if you like what you've seen, you know what to do. Subscribe, like, share, tell your friends, tell your neighbours, to tell their neighbours, get involved, and we will see you tomorrow. It's the simple things in life you forget.